Tsinghua University has just released COG Video X5B, claiming to be the best open source AI video generation solution to date. In their paper, COG Video X outperforms competing models like OpenSora version 1.2 and Pika across multiple dimensions, leaving its competitors far behind. To verify these claims, I selected a few sketches from my illustration book, redrew them, and used Cog Video X to bring them to life. The results were fascinating. In addition to the animated style, I also used Cog Video X to generate hyper-realistic videos from some flux-generated photos, with remarkable results. Thanks to its use of T5 Clip, Cog Video X has excellent prompt comprehension, and by simply inputting text prompts, I was able to achieve impressive text-to-video generation results. So how can this exciting model be run in Comfy UI? Does it demand significant hardware resources? And how can you generate better and longer videos? Today, I'll explain everything clearly and demonstrate the process thoroughly. Before diving into practical usage, let's first explore all the open-source models of the COG Video X series. The COG Video X model series includes the following. The official releases from the Knowledge Engineering Group, KEG, and data mining at Tsinghua University include COG Video X2B and COG Video X5B, which support video generation from text or video, as well as COG Video X5B I2V, which generates videos from images. Additionally, Alibaba's AI platform PAI has based its COG Video X Fund series on the COG Video X structure, referencing Easy Animate for training video generation models. These models support post-controlled video generation, unlock the resolution limitations of the official models, and can add noise during generation to create more detailed videos. Now, let's use these models in Comfy UI. Open the Comfy UI Manager. Search for COG Video X. And select the Comfy UI COG Video X wrapper, developed by Kajai. Click Install. It's very simple. Just keep in mind that COG Video X requires version 0.30.3 of the Diffusers library, which is quite new and may not be compatible with older plugins. When using this plugin, the chosen model will automatically download from Hugging Face, making the process convenient. However, as mentioned earlier, the COG Video X models are quite large, so be cautious of your disk space. COG Video X supports multiple use cases. Let's start by generating videos from images. Load the example workflow provided by the plugin author. First, select clip. Cog Video X uses the same T5 model as SD3 and Flux, which handles complex prompts well. Next, check the load Cog Video model node. Based on the model family we discussed earlier, choose the 5BI2V version. For precision, choose BF16 from the available FP16, FP32 and BF16 options, which matches the 5B model. If you're using the 2B model, go with FP16. I enabled FP8 underscore transformer, which converts the transformer to float 8 underscore E4M3FN, reducing the load on the GPU. Besides enable and disable, there's a fast mode option, which boosts speed by around 30%, but it's only for 4090 or newer NVIDIA cards. For compile, you can use either OneDev or Torch to compile the model, which increases speed by around 40%, but this is only for Linux systems. Choosing this on Windows will cause errors, so I leave it disabled. Now for the prompts. In simple terms, this includes the subject, background, and action. Thanks to T5's understanding, you can write more complex prompts. I've split mine into two parts. The first line describes a fashionable woman walking by the beach, and the second defines the camera movement. The negative prompts come pre-configured with the workflow. Upload an initial image, which will be the first frame of the video. You'll need to resize it as the official model only accepts images with a 720 pixel width and 480 pixel height. The COG Video Image Encode node converts the image into a format the model can process. Keep the default parameters. Moving on to the COG Video Sampler node, it's similar to standard samplers. The width, height, and frame count are fixed and cannot be changed. For the steps, you can choose between 20 and 50, there's not much difference in motion, but more steps will enhance image quality. 
For the scheduler, choose DPM for the 5B model and DDIM for the 2B model. Leave the other parameters unchanged. The COG Video Decode node converts the generated video data back into images. Since this process involves handling large amounts of data, if your GPU is struggling, you can enable enabling underscore V underscore tiling to trade speed for reduced GPU load, significantly lowering the chance of errors. I won't enable it here, though. Click Run. I've tested this process, both on the cloud and locally. For 49 images and 50 steps, it takes about 5 minutes on a 4090 and around 10 minutes on a 4080. Looking at the result, the background comes to life, the wind moves the clouds, the waves crash on the shore, and the woman subtly turns her head, with her hair blowing in the breeze and her dress fluttering. It's very bright and vivid. However, in the latter half of the video, the woman's dress has some issues, it appears a bit fragmented and incomplete. Fortunately, this is a detail level issue and can be easily fixed. Instead of tweaking prompts or re-rolling, I'll directly set up the upscaling and repair workflow. Upscaling involves selecting some suitable enhancement models from a vast array of options to add detail and increase resolution. Add the image upscale with model batched node. First, include a 1x detail enhancing model. A user previously shared test results showing that DJPG and Denoise work well, so I'll choose DJPG here. Next, duplicate these nodes and add a 4x upscaling model. I'll go with 4x clear reality. Since this is a 4x upscaling model, it puts more pressure on the system, so it's better to reduce the number of images processed per batch. I'll change per underscore batch from 16 to 8. Wire everything up and connect it to the previously generated images. Then add a resize node. setting the dimensions to double the original 720 by 480 size. I've added some math-related nodes for easier reference later on. You might be wondering why we upscale by 4x first, then downscale to 2x. This is a common technique that reduces interpolation errors, preserves more details, and results in better quality images. After resizing, connect to the VAE encode node. Once the upscaling is done, it's time to set up the repair workflow. There are many different methods available, but I prefer using Animate Diff for re-rendering. While it involves more nodes, the plugin dependencies are straightforward, and you can add specific components based on your needs. First, add the Animate Diff workflow. The core node is Use Evolved Sampling. Connect the two related Animate Diff model nodes to its input. For the motion model, select Animated Diff V3 models. Then, add the context options and sample settings nodes, ensuring that noise underscore type is set to free noise. The beta underscore schedule should be set to SQRT underscore linear, Animate Diff. Next are the sampling related nodes. Keep the following in mind. Choose a realistic model based on the image content. Load the 4-step HyperSD LoRa model from ByteDance, set the weight to 0.45, which will speed up the process significantly. Provide a simple description of the scene in the positive prompt, and fill in the negative prompt with general terms. Since we are re-rendering the video, the K-sampler should take the previous image content as latent. With the model input coming from the Animate Diff workflow. Because we are using an acceleration LoRa. Set the iteration steps to 4, CFG to 1, and the sampling method to dim combined with SGM underscore uniform.
adjusting the denoise strength to 0.4. Finally, use the VAE decode and video combined nodes to get a repaired and optimized video. To easily compare the results, add an image concatenate multi node. Connect the original video to image underscore 1 and the enhanced video to image underscore 2. Add a video combined node to display the video. Since the enhanced video is twice the size of the original, add a resize image node to compress it. With the dimensions linked to the previously defined integer value. Click Run, speed it up, and check the results. The new video is significantly sharper. Let's take a closer look in the video comparison node. The enhanced video has more detail. Not only is the skirt issue fixed, but the character's face and the waves in the ocean are also clearer. From here, you can add additional processes like face swapping or frame interpolation with ease. But due to time limits, I won't demonstrate those today. Since the COG Video X model only supports up to 6 second videos, how do you create longer, continuous videos? There's a clever trick. Use the last frame of the current video as input to generate another 6 second segment. Here's how it works. Delete the video quality enhancement workflow. And add a get image or mask range from batch node. This node finds the image we need from a series of images by index. We want the last frame from the 49 images, so we enter minus 1 or 48. To verify, add a preview image node and click run. After comparison, everything checks out. Next, copy and paste the previous image to video workflow. Using the last frame as the input. The image dimensions are already determined, so we can skip the load image and resize image nodes. To avoid loading the model multiple times, connect the model nodes from the previous workflow via a reroute node into the pipeline port here. Remove any unnecessary nodes, and do the same for clip. For the positive prompt, I'm changing it to describe a camera pulling back and ending on a small island in the sea. If you want to keep the style consistent with the previous video, you don't need to change anything. Keep the other parameters the same and click Run. Jump to the results. The camera indeed moves backward, with the character getting farther away. However, just as the island is about to appear, the video ends. In previous tests, the island did appear. Seed variation plays a big role with COG Video X, so you may need to run it multiple times for satisfactory results. Now, let's use the image batch multi node to stitch the two videos together. Add another get image or mask range from batch node with start underscore index set to 0 and number underscore frame set to 48. This will grab all but the last frame of the first video to be used as image underscore 1. 
Image underscore 2 will be the newly generated video. Finally, combine the videos using the video combine node. Click Run. Without additional sampling, the two videos connect smoothly without any abrupt transitions. If you feel the character space isn't sharp enough or the video quality isn't high enough, you can still follow the previous steps to enhance the video quality. Next, let's try the fun model, using the same input image, and see how it generates the video. First, delete the nodes for extending the video. Then add the fun model sampler, cog video x fun sampler, and complete the connections. Remove the nodes that are no longer needed. Select the model Fun v one point one five BNP and keep the rest of the loading parameters unchanged. Now let's look at the sampler parameters. Fix the seed to a preferred number. Set the iteration steps to thirty and keep the scheduler the same as in the example workflow using DPM plus plus. The larger the noise, the greater the motion amplitude, so I'll set it to zero for now. Click Run, skip the generation process, and zoom in to check the results. Personally, I think the output looks better than the official version, both the ocean waves and the woman's dress have more significant and natural movements. Additionally, the official version only supports a fixed resolution of 480 by 720 whereas the fun model is more flexible. So let's try with a different image. Upload a 1024 by 1024 square image, resize it to 512 by 512, and change the prompt to this woman is smiling, and the wind is blowing her hair. Keep the other parameters unchanged and run it. A video is generated normally, and zooming in shows the character looking good closely following our prompt. However, we might need to adjust the seed or prompt to bring more life into the background for better results. But I won't try that now. Let's look at the feature of generating videos with start and end frames, which allows for better control of the video's progression. Use load image to upload an image of Black Myth Wukong about to eat an ice cream as the start image. Since this image isn't large, I'll remove the resize image node. Then, copy the load image node and upload an image where Wukong has put down the ice cream, connecting it to the end underscore IMG port. The prompt will describe the action, Wukong looks at the ice cream and then puts it down. Click Run and let's see the result. I'll pull in the start and end frames we just defined for comparison. The video is great, smooth transitions with camera movement, a consistent character design, and the action follows the prompt naturally. There's just a minor issue with the sauce on the ice cream, but that can probably be fixed. Now that you've seen image to video generation, I'll demonstrate text to video. Load the example workflow provided by the plugin author. For clip, we again use T5XXL, but this time we'll switch the model to the official 5B. The prompt I used is a Lego soldier in a suit is looking around. And since the author didn't provide any negative prompts, I'll skip them too, but you can include some quality-related ones when you try it yourself. Leave the other parameters as is and generate the video. Zoom in to check the result. The Lego soldier looks expressive and animated. Very amusing. The official model only supports a 480 by 720 resolution which works well for horizontal videos, but often results in incomplete frames for vertical videos. In such cases, you can switch to the fun model. I'll change the model to fun v1.1-5 bnp 
and modify the prompt to a giraffe wearing a floral apron needs dough skillfully on a marble kitchen countertop. The sampler needs to be changed to the fun model version. And the connections are completed. Noise is still set to zero. Since we're not using a start underscore IMG, we need to add an empty underscore latent node and define the width and height as 480 and 720. Then pass it to Cog Video X to set the video size. Click Run, and there we go. The giraffe is diligently kneading dough. It's good enough to share on short video apps. That concludes the demonstration. By now, you should have a clear understanding of the different CogVideo X models and their functionalities. To summarize, CogVideo X is an open source video generation model that supports multiple input types, such as text and images. It requires a decent GPU, 12GB VRAM is ideal, but it can run locally. While image to video quality may not match paid cloud services like Kling or Gen 3, the text-to-video results are quite comparable, and CogVideo X offers more options. I recommend trying it if you have the resources. The CogVideo X Fun Series models maintain similar video quality to the official models while unlocking more features. If you only want to download one model, the best choice is currently Fun V1.1-5 BNP. Alright, that's all for today's video. See you next time.